Hello hackers, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we're going to hack coarse vulnerability with a basic origin reflection. This lab has insecure coarse configuration that trusts all the origin, and that means any other website open in this browser is able to interact with this vulnerable website, and that's really dangerous because a malicious website can use our cookies to stole our sensitive data from this vulnerable website. And actually, this is what we are going to do. So to solve the lab, all what we have to do is to create a malicious website that has a JavaScript code that can interact with this vulnerable website to stole his sensitive data, which has this IP key. And in this time, our victim will be the administrator. And to understand the business logic of the website, we do have this credential of Winner Peter. And here we go, guys. Without further ado, let's hack the administrator. And here we go, guys. So the first step, let me activate Foxy Proxy as usual. I'm using Community Edition. And then let me go to the proxy, then enter spec twice, and go to HTTP history. So the first step that I need to understand the business logic of this website and try to find the vulnerability based on the course. So let me go to my account. And here we go. And now let me use my credential of winner and password of Peter. And here we go. So my target will be this IP key for the administrator. So first, I need to understand how the website get this information. So let me analyze the endpoints. So let me go to the first endpoint, my account. And as you can see in here, it's a just calling for the page. Let me go to the next one, call it post login. And in here where I connect to the website, let me go to my account ID winner and still doesn't contain the information because we see only the HTML code, as you can see in here, text HTML, but I can recognize that I have another endpoint called it account details. And here we go. Now we do have a JSON data. So we have my username, my email, and my IP key. And this is the interesting one. So this is my IP key. And in here we have a table of sessions. So I can notice that this is a list of cookies where I'm connecting with a website from different devices or from different browsers. So let me verify this point. So let me go to my extension, call it editor cookie. So if you don't know what's this extension, you can download it from the Firefox store or if you are using Google Chrome, also it exists in there. So this extension is very recommended because it makes the interaction with the cookies very easy. So let me see my section in here. And here we go, so this is my section. So let me try to delete this section. Here we go, and let me refresh the page. And as you can see, now I'm logging out. Let me try to reconnect again. So let me say winner and password of Peter. Here we go, now I'm still in my account. Now my IP key is still the same, but let me see my cookie in here. And here we go, now I do have a new cookie, start with R2. And if I'm going to my account details, I will definitely see two different cookies. So in case that I didn't log out with the first section, it still exists in there. So in here, I have two different cookies that I'm able to connect. In other way, I can do even a CSRF attack. So I can stall his section in here, and then I will be able to connect with this session because definitely it's not related with the CSRF token, which I can connect as an administrator. And we are not going to do this CSRF attack, but we are going to make a similar type of attack. All what we have to do is to verify that this endpoint is vulnerable to the course origin. So let me send it to repeater. Here we go. And let me close under Spectre. Let me send again. And here we go. Now you can see something interesting. We do have this access control low credential equal to true. So this is, can be a good sign for you that if I will try to add origin header, this can be accepted. And another very good sign in here that we do have only a section related in the request to get the sensitive data. And we don't have the CSRF token to prevent for the CSRF attack. And to verify what I'm saying, let me try to change this section with the previous one. So let me send it in here. 
And as you can see, I still able to get the sensitive data. So this is a good sign that tell me that this request, it's not prevented enough. Let me try to add extra header. Let me say origin and let me say popo.com and see how this is going to interact. Let me send. And here we go, guys. Now I'm able to see new header called it access control origin. And as you can see, there is a popo.com. So this is a very good sign that this endpoint is vulnerable to the course attack. So that means the developer that created this endpoint, he's absolutely forget to make the configuration or he made it with a mistake. Let me try to change the origin to something else. So let me say popohack.com and let me send again. And here we go, still have the same response. So this is different origin. And to do this attack, let me go to my code editor. So I'm using VS Code. Now let me create HTML file. So let me say index.html. Here we go. Let me close this one and let me say HTML5. Here we go. So this is absolutely the malicious website. So in this case, I'm going to make it very basic, but, but in the real life, you have to make it very realistic. So then you will be able to attract easily the administrator user. So in here, let me say H1. Here we go. And let me say, hello, my friend. And here we go. And now I'm going to create the malicious code. So let me open the script tag. And here we go. So in case that this endpoint is vulnerable to the course, I'm not going to use a fetch method, but I'm going to use XML HTTP requests. So let me say const request new HTML HTTP request. And here we go. And now request open that takes the parameter. And then we do have request on load. So this is take a function. So I'm going to use error function. And in case that this endpoint allows the credential equal true, I'm going to add its credential. So this is request equal to true. And then definitely I need to send the request. So request send function. Here we go. So let me back to the open one. So the first parameter in here is the method. And as you can see, I'm using get. So this is get https two point double slash and let me copy the host. And definitely I'm targeting this endpoint, call it slash account details. And here we go. And the third parameter is absolutely true. And here you go. So now what I'm going to do in this case. So let me assume that this website is not just a page, but is already exist on the internet. So it's absolutely hosting on the web server. And then I have to activate the debugger so I can see anything right in here. So this is absolutely similar of the console on the website. So let me show you how. So let me back to, let me right click then inspect. And here we go. Now let me make it more bigger so you can see. So this is absolutely similar of this console. And what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to use window.location.reference. This is absolutely a default variable on every website. And I'm going to change its reference. So in the request, we have the response. So let me say request. And then we do have this response. And this response is absolutely the JSON. So I will change its reference so I can read it on the console and containing the sensitive data. So in case that this is a reference, so this is absolutely the URL and this is absolutely string. So I cannot use a uh, JSON. So I'm going to use another attribute call it response text. And here we go. So if you're not familiar with this one, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me say window, then location, then the reference. You, as you can see, this is my full endpoint. And let me try to change it this time. Let me say popo. And now you can see it redirected me. So let me show you the endpoint. You can see it in here that this is a slash popo. But in the real life, I will be able to read this redirection and contains this sensitive information. So now let me back to my website. Let me close the console 
and let me finish my code and here we go let me add some specific characters so i can find it in here let me say slash popo then question mark key equal and let me add a plus in here so then on the console i will definitely search with this slash popo and here we go now i'm able to send the attack so let's say control a control c and now let me go to the exploit server here we go and let me send it to my victim let me store it and now let me deliver it to the victim and now i will check the server log and here we go and as you can see i don't have a lot of information in here and it's very easy for me to find the specific endpoint and as you can see now we find the slash popo key and this is the object that i was looking for so let me select all of it and here we go now let me copy it and in case that this is start with a percentage 20 so this is different url encoded so let me decode it in here so let's go to the decoder let me paste it in here and let me decode the url so this is the username this is the administrator email and this is my target the ip key and also i do have this session but before going to submit this ip key let me show you how i'm able to connect with this session so let me go in here and here we go now let me go to my cookie editor let me go to the session and let me change it in here. Let me save. Now let me refresh the page. And as you can see guys, now I'm able to see an admin panel. Let me go to my account first. And as you can see, now I'm the administrator and this is my IP key. Let me copy it. So you can copy it from here or you can just copy it from here. And now let me submit the solution. And here we go guys. So I hope that you learned something new for me and you learn how you will be able to make a malicious web page that's stalling your victim cookies. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and if you do have any question or any recommendation, please put it in the comment below and stay tuned for the next video.